Usually in vaccine development, the first stop is after phase one. Well, I would say that the spring was the roller coaster of emotions, for sure. This project, we worked on it for a long time and it means a lot. I had big hopes and expectations. It's been a steep learning curve for the team in 2017. Disappointed, let's face it, they were expecting something. Right away when I saw the results, I have to say I was disappointed. We felt some confusion, a bit puzzled. Two thousand seventeen was a very eventful year, and uh, in the very beginning of the year, in January, we received the safety data from our first clinical study with Immunos flu based on quadrivalent split influenza antigens. So we have performed clinical trials before containing our adjuvant endosin, but this was the first trial where we actually had four different influenza strains in the same vaccine. Later on in the spring, uh, we also received a notice from the United States that we had gotten an allowance from one of our patent applications. And uh, that was very nice to be encouraged that our patent strategy is working well. And since the United States is one of the most important markets, it was very good to get an allowance uh, there. The major event this year was, of course, the clinical study that we conducted. We uh, opened the results and had very big expectations because we knew that the study was designed in a very good way in order to mirror a lot of aspects of our vaccine. Superficially, I could see there was something. And since I have been head of R&D for the big companies in the vaccine business at an earlier stage in my life, I'm quite used to look at data where you see the merit only when you analyze thoroughly. Guys, wake up. What we get is a safe and effective product. But we have already demonstrated the dual protection. And then everybody paused and said, do you realize that we have demonstrated in humans that we have a safe and effective influenza vaccine that can be administered intranasally? When looking, looking deeply into the results and talking with people around us, we realized that, huh, this is really good for the first study on immunose flu. The data started to grow on me, you could say. And I started to see uh, all the positive things we have generated. And uh, the picture became clearer that we actually had a very good base to continue our development on. I guess I had to remind myself how early we are in development and that maybe my expectations were set a little bit too high. And now, based on the results, we are planning the next study which will be conducted in the season of 2017-18. At the same time, we open a big business segment. Without losing sight of the vision, the next step to demonstrate the um, value of the intranasal adjuvant in subjects that are um, a bit weaker in terms of their immune system functioning is to go through the seniors as a stepstone to going into children uh, at a later stage. I think the company is on the right path. They are serious, they are careful, they are not promising gold and green forests. They are hardworking and they shall just continue what they are doing. Why is it a cool company? Well, first and foremost, because we have an asset that works. And it's as simple as that, which is difficult enough.